How do you get published? Start small. Start by submitting a small piece to a small magazine or submit it to a contest. And if the work doesn't get published or chosen, submit it somewhere else. And if it still doesn't get chosen, submit it somewhere else. Because Getting rejected doesn't mean you can't write. It doesn't mean it's not a good story. It just means it hasn't found its home yet. And persistence is part of this game. A lot of people, when they get rejection, decide, oh, well, that means I'm not a writer. I better stop this. But the people who get published are the ones that keep sending it out. You can also have someone else read it and give feedback so that you can tighten it up a little bit before you resubmit. And why bother with small publications? Because the reality is agents are overwhelmed with submissions. And so somehow you need to make your submissions stand out. Yours needs to rise to the top of the pile. And it can do that with a cover letter that says, sections of this manuscript have appeared here and here. Or I was shortlisted for this contest. Or my work has appeared on this, this, and this online publication. All of those things signal to an agent or a publisher that your work has been enjoyed by other editorial boards. It's been selected by contest judges. It shows them that your manuscript is worth reading. And so it'll get read. That's the first thing, is just getting your piece read. When I first started writing, I submitted a short piece to a newspaper. It got read by, I don't know how many hundred people. My next piece got read by even fewer people. It was in a small, obscure little literary journal, but it happened to win a prize. My next piece was published in the same obscure literary journal and it won a big prize. So when I was sitting with my manuscript ready to send out to agents, I was able to say, I've been published here, a segment of this manuscript was published here and it won this prize, and another segment was published here and it won this prize. And so I had two agents calling me asking to read my manuscript. But those small little pieces, they seem insignificant. That's how big steps are made, by small, dogged, determined steps. So just keep taking steps and keep believing in yourself and keep being persistent. That's how everyone gets published.